Listen, I'm about to throw at you a makeup look, but not just any old makeup look. Affordable, penny saving, like cheap ass makeup. Now I placed this makeup order when I placed my order on Shein. Shein, she, we're not gonna go there. They do makeup, which like kind of like blows my mind a little bit. They literally do everything. This website does not not do something as mental. I just tested out their clothes. If you've not seen that video, I will link it down below. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna try out the makeup too. To me, the makeup is cheaper than the clothes. Like some of the clothing items are like, hmm, Whereas the makeup, I was looking at the prices and I was like, okay, let's go. So what we are here to do guys, is to test out whether this is affordable and shit <laughs> or decent stuff that I feel like we all need to know about like hidden gems. This look here, this is what we did. I just wanted to do something a bit more like classic glam, more simple. I've not done a look like this in a while. So yeah, wing liner, red lip, lashes of course. I want the focus to be on the products and how good they are rather than like doing the most like crazy complicated look and like doing the most. Full face is she in. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna give anything away. You can just stay around and watch the video, but sis, sis. Stick around guys, because I think you could be as shocked as I was. Hmm. Right, do I actually have everything? Oh. That was the chair, I swear. It is like 10,942.9 degrees in my room. Into the makeup. So I have a whole bunch of stuff in this basket here that I got from Shein. From what I believe and what I've like read and what I've seen, I think that their brand called She Glam is like Shein's brand. Did they upgrade recently? Did they take it from like Shein makeup to She Glam? Either way, we've got it here. I mean, girls and boys, honestly, I've got a little bit of everything here. From palettes, lashes, foundations. Like, I try to pick up as much as I, like, possibly could. From what I'm aware, there should be enough for a full face in here. Fingers freaking crossed. I've made a rookie here. You know, like, half the stuff is still in packaging. I'm gonna spend about 14 years opening this stuff. Great. Item number one. I'm gonna stick to my routine as much as possible. So you guys know I like to do my brows first. As we can see, they are already glued down. They just need a little bit of extra TLC and kind of to fill them in. This is still the Shein brand, this product. This is their waterproof. Interesting. Eyebrow pencil, natural and soft, apparently. I got the color, um, do I even have a color? Oh, here we go. Light brown, zero three. I did color match myself online. So fingers crossed we have got a good shade. I have absolutely no idea. A lot of the time with cheaper makeup brands, they don't tend to like extend their range out. No matter what it is, like eyebrow products, foundations, whatever, like it's limited, which pisses me off. It's a ball lake to choose online and it's not inclusive. They can do better, they can improve. I'm just gonna like throw them into the universe and you never know. I mean, first of all, the fact that it comes in a box, bougie. Here she is. So what if we spoolie on one end and then we have the pencil on the other end. Oh my God, it's retractable. Hell to the, yes. Also, just to let you know, the actual pencil itself, you know when it's got that triangle shape? Keeping it real, it isn't my favorite. I prefer like a skinny little thing. <laughs> but either way, we're gonna give this a go and we're gonna see how this performs on the brow. I mean, color wise, she's definitely happening. Like I'm getting pigment on my skin. Oh, I'm really struggling with the shape though. It's like smudging underneath and effing it up. She can't really do like hair like strokes, but I mean, listen, it's definitely filling in my brows for sure. I'm struggling with the shape, but as far as the like formula of the pencil, yeah, to be fair. I mean, we can just praise the Lord that um, I don't need to do too much filling in. And I like that sort of fluffier brow texture. It's fine. I don't mind it to be a little unneat. I think I have my review of this product. I think if you're someone that has to really shape their brow and like that you're doing the most with your brows, if you know what I mean, this isn't gonna be for you. But if you are blessed in the brow department and you have like naturally fluffy brows and you just wanna do minimal filling in, great. Let's move on to, let's do the skin. I didn't manage to pick up a primer, I'm pretty sure. Did they even do one? Was it out of stock? Probably. But I did pick up a foundation, so we're just gonna go like straight in. Silky Matte Liquid Foundation, flawless coverage. I got mine in 108 Medium Golden, which I have no idea if this is gonna match me. Like, girl, I struggled. The shade I wanted that I thought would be the best like undertone and match to me, of course it was our stock. Of course. So I went for what I thought would be the best, but like, let's be real, it's probably gonna be awful. It's gonna be awful. If the color's off, we'll disregard that and we'll, we'll talk about the product. This one sounded the most up my street. You are telling me that this foundation comes in its own velvet bag. <laughs> You're having me on. And it's like a plasticky glass frosty bottle. Weighty. Real quick, I'm just gonna check the price of this foundation just so we can like bear that in mind. $6.99. Like, no tea, no shade, but this looks better than half the drugstore foundations out there. I also went ahead and picked up some sponges as well. I feel like sponges is, like, a cool thing to try from anyone when I do, like, these testing videos. Pack of three, guys. Price will be on screen. They feel pretty good. They feel pretty juicy. How you are not going to believe this? 
Look how big the sponge has got. And look how squishy this is. I'm telling you, like, this feels nice. Do you know what it almost feels like? You know the velvety sponge, like the microfiber sponges? It kind of feels like that, but it's not. Let's give this foundation a shake and let's give it a go. I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand. Oh, actually, the colour doesn't look too bad. That is a very interesting scent. Like actual paint. Like, <laughs> and let's get applying. You know what? That color match is not bad at all. It's actually quite a nice tan shade. So if you fake tan or you, you know, you are tan, I think this would be a pretty decent shade. Actually, I can't really smell the foundation shade. Shade? I can't smell a shade. As far as the actual foundation, that looks pretty, it's pretty natural. I'm looking at my mirror here and I feel like it's given me more of a medium coverage, but you guys know me. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my cheeks. Oh yeah, I feel like that's, that's pretty good. My skin's kind of good at the moment, like, so there's not too much to cover, but I do still like to have a pretty, like, blank canvas to work with. You know what? So far, I am not mad at this at all. It's quite dewy, isn't it? It's got quite a sheen, quite a glow. Bearing in mind, this does say silky matte. So let's see if it dries. A little bit on my forehead. I can't trip. I'm also finding that I'm, I feel like I'm using a pretty like decent amount of product. And I mean, I don't know whether that's like the sponge soaking up product or if that's just me, you know, wanting to build it up as much as I possibly can and just like using a crap ton. Okay, now that we're all blended in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see my skin as it is. Right now, I'm not seeing any signs of it drying down. To be fair, it does look very, very natural on your skin, kind of like that my skin but better look. I don't see it settling and emphasizing anything on my skin. I don't see it, you know, caking up anywhere. Just melted into my skin, if that makes sense. Um, and it does feel heavy at all. I mean, it looks nice. It looks nice. I feel like it's a little bit more on the natural side to what I'm used to. You guys know I'm all or nothing. But well, creds wear creds do. Do? Hmm. For me, the way a foundation wears is such a big part of a foundation, right? I mean, I'll keep you guys updated, but so far, I think it's pretty good. Concealer. Let me get her out. Look at this groovy, funky packaging. Okay. This holographic moment. She Glamour onto the She Glam range. So this is their creamy concealer. Mine is in 01 Fair. Hmm, interesting. 16 hour wear. Corrects in <laughs> Get it together. Corrects imperfections, blurs the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and improves the look of skin. So it actually doesn't say anything about coverage. Like it's not telling me, you know, that it's like full coverage or I feel like this is gonna look this colour's just not gonna be okay. <laughs> I tried. I really did try. Oh. I nearly took my eye out. Okay, actually, that's not too bad. We're definitely gonna be highlighting a little bit, but I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna put this on underneath my eyes as I usually would. Hmm, feels a little like oily. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. That's like, kind of warm. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, this is how I've been doing my concealer recently. You know, like focus it in specific places to really lift and complement the face. Before I used to just be crazy and be like, mm, put the whole bottle on. Take my sponge, I'm gonna start on my chin. Hmm, okay, that is definitely brightened. I know it was pretty lighter than my foundation, but let's blend in my nose and my forehead as well. Ooh, a little bit definitely goes a long way, so just bear with, guys, with this product. Did I just decide not to put a line here? Did I just think no? <laughs> let's just add that. Moment of truth underneath the eyes, that is where we tell the coverage. Okay, 100%, probably did not need as much as that, but that's not too bad, is it? I know I look crazy right now, but trust the process, okay? For like it needs a second to come together. Definitely am um, more concealed. Everything definitely is like lifted and brighter. Is it me though? Is everything kind of have like an oilyish like hue to it? Everything's looked kind of wet. Do you know what I mean? Like the formulas look a little not not sticky. They're not sticky at all, but it kind of these oil based. I feel like they might be. Let me zoom you in. Oh, have to be honest. It doesn't look like I've added an extra layer, do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like I've like hates on the concealer at all. It just, it looks like the foundation. Same thing. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not sure it's gonna last up on my skin type though. I feel like I'm prepared to get a little oily. I'm prepared to get like my powder ready. Before I jump in and do any sort of powdering though, I actually managed to pick up a cream contour stick, which actually kind of surprised me a little bit. The She Glam Soft Shape Contour Stick in 102 Mocha. I feel like these are like the extra products that brands, like cheaper brands leave out. It's wicked to see that they've like done, done this though, you know? Ooh, matte black packaging, vibey. Right, so we've got, oh my God, there's a brush on the end of this. And then the, stick. Should we use a brush for the shits and gigs as well? I feel like we just should, right? I'm gonna start off with one side, kind of lay that product down. Okay, well, this brush is definitely 
like a rock. <laughs> you know when a brush can be really dense, right? You don't want to drag because as soon as you drag, listen, all that product is about to come straight off. I usually tap anyway, to be fair. I mean, it's blending it out, is it? Yeah. Put it on my jawline, put it here. Okay, I'm gonna put some down my nose as well because I don't think it dries super quick. I think I will have blending time. Let's get to it. I think it's pretty fancy that it comes with a brush, right? That's not the norm. And to be fair, it's doing a decent job. I mean, it wouldn't be the first thing I pick up, but if it's all you had, sure. Use my finger, the warmth of my finger. Definitely helps to sort of like blur any edges. It's definitely, it's really hard to see because my face is so shiny right now. <laughs> this side compared to this side, like it definitely have a lot more color. She's not dry, you know? Sometimes like contour sticks, like, ugh, I don't know. They can just literally be like, basically like she's thick. Like sometimes and just, uh, it's just a hot mess. Where is this? Um, do you know what? It actually isn't that bad. I love how I'm still using the brush, by the way. I'm just like over here like, me. it's okay. Yeah, I'm still using it. Do you know what as well that I'm noticing? It's a really lovely color. It's got a nice undertone to it. It's not too warm, but it's not cool either. It's more on the warmer side, but it's not looking like orangey or ashy. It's like the perfect in between. This is definitely like a color that I go for. You know what I will do though? Just to make sure everything's blended together. Let's take the sponge. Cause we don't want no harsh lines. Okay, 1 million percent. We need to set this in place because I feel like Decided to pick up two different types of powders. They're both from the same brand, that's She Glam. I think they're both loose powders. This is 102 Natural Color. And this one is Pearl White. So I think this has a bit of a sheen to it maybe, but it's got like it's white, obviously. I got both because the thing is sometimes colored, oh, this packaging is so annoying, isn't it? I'm so sorry, it's probably so annoying to hear. <laughs> I'm just annoying, I am. I wasn't sure on the color. Color powders sometimes freak me out a little bit because I don't always want them to change the color of my foundation. Hmm, look at that. That's kind of cute. Appreciate it when a brand puts effort into their packaging because that's what the person like will first, that's like their first impression of a product. What does it claim? Uh, the magic of veil transformed into an ultra fine loose powder designed to give skin a naturally flawless finish. This finely milled weightless powder is 100% talc free and formulated with soft focus light reflecting particles to instantly blur imperfections and minimize the appearance of pores. The translucent formula can be used on all skin tones for an invisible natural skin finish. Oh, that does a lot. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Why does that sound like the most dreamy powder? No offense, she glam, but um, I am expecting high things from that description. Oh my God, it comes with a powder puff. Oh my God, and even the, the powder even has a lid. I honestly, packaging, I know I said it a second ago, but geez. Natural color looks a little bit pinky, so I'm gonna try pearl white first and just see how it goes and hopefully it doesn't look crazy. And press it underneath my eyes. I don't usually bake anyway, so I'm not really looking for excess product. I'm just more so looking for shine freeness. Taking some more. Do a little bit of, oh, We're doing a little bit of a sculpting. I'm gonna dip in. It's actually a pretty like, I'm getting a lot of like, packaging isn't messy though. It's actually pretty, um. I feel like you get a nice amount of product as well. Definitely starting to look more matte, that's for sure. Like that is better. I feel like you can actually see like the colors on my skin. A tiny bit casty. Like there's a little bit of a white veil on my skin, but nothing crazy. Also, um, what was I gonna say? Oh my God, my brain just went. Oh, oh my God. It says this to be fair, but the powder is really, really fine. That's the kind of texture that's silky smooth. And to be fair, I feel like it, if, has it? I wouldn't say that it's smoothed my skin, but it, it's set and done everything that I like a powder to do. I mean, if it smooths, bonus. Now I actually feel ready for other powder products. So speaking of powder products, let's let's get to it. On the website, I couldn't find like a single bronzer. I found blushes, but not bronzers. But I did find this this palette. This is the Stereo She Glam. Sorry, Just She Glam Stereo Phase Six Color Cosmetic Disc. The only one thing I will say about this packaging, it's not very environmentally friendly. There's a lot of like plastic going on. The cardboard isn't as bad, but the plastic, like it's a little bit unnecessary. Oh, I, I, it's been that long. I generally forgot what I ordered. This is actually a highlight palette, but there is a bronzer in here. I think this is what I wanted to use, this bronzer. They're all highlighters. This could be a blush, like a shimmery blush, but that is a matte bronzer. So I'm going to use that. Fairy dust, it's called. Take in a clean brush. I'm just going to dip into her. And I'm going to start on the cheeks. Blend that in, start to make my way up to my forehead and also like the chin area. Definitely buildable and definitely warming up my skin. It's a little bit almost red toned. It's almost got that sort of like brownie ready undertone to it almost. We're talking about actual formula. I mean, picking some up on my brush, blending on. 
You guys can see it definitely is blending out beautifully. There's no sort of patchiness. It's not picking up on anything. Got a nice amount of pigment as well. Yeah, it's doing what a bronzer should do. I'm not having trouble with it. I'm not having to like work with it, like work my ass off to try and like get it blended. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. That was easy to use. Blush, my favorite part, one of my favorite parts, I love blush. From what I can glaver, glaver, glaver. I think I picked up two. So I've got the She Glam Blusher in Affectionate Coffee. And this is the She Glam Face Palette Powder in 01 Tangerine, which I think it's blushes as well. I can't really remember. Eek. Can you open, please? Everyone's probably having a heart attack now the way I'm holding these scissors. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the, this is one of the ombre blushes. That's like a really beautiful color. Mm. I remember where I picked this up. Does this or does this not look like a familiar brand? High-end brand. That might go by the name of Fenty. That's mental. It's like a holographic package though, but like shape-wise, that's the same. Oh, okay. That's Affectionate Coffee. I don't really understand the names. Affectionate Coffee. Hmm, I think that's gonna be way too light for my complexion. I'm gonna go for this one, but I'm gonna pick up a mix. It's quite powdery, isn't it? Oh, cute. It's like your standard sort of pink shade, like that soft pink shade. Has it also got some iridescence in it or is that just... Yeah, it's definitely got like a bit of a glow on the skin, doesn't it? Hey, I actually think it's really cute. <laughs> and again, formula wise, I'm having no trouble whatsoever. Like that's blent into my bronzer. You know when like you can't fault it. I love the fact this has a bit of glow in it. I don't even need to put highlighter on, man. That is pretty. Stop it. I mean, like I said, I don't even really feel like I need highlighter. I feel like that's giving me the best glow, but just to test it out for the sake of the video, I am gonna dip back into the Stereo Face Palette. This gold shade in the middle, I feel like a lot of people will wanna know. I'm gonna apply it with a smaller brush so I can concentrate where I'm placing it. Oh my God. <laughs> no highlighter. Highlighter. I mean, I don't want to go too crazy. I feel like it's a bit late for that. John, you literally put a glowy blush on and now more highlighter. Just a bit onto my forehead as well. That is pretty nice. I mean, if you're into your glow, why the hell not? I'm impressed. Like this was dead cheap as well. I mean, all the makeup's dead cheap, but obviously in this, because it's a palette, you get six different shades. The pan size are absolutely ginormous as well. You also get a mirror. I'm sorry. I've just like Suddenly this palette's hit me. Real quick, I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and just dust over everything to make sure everything is seamless. Just kind of tap over everything. Ladies and gents, creds where creds is due. I, the skin right now, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna bring it in. This, I'm impressed. Like, I feel like recently I've been trying out in more inexpensive makeup and it really has not been bad. I mean, check this out. For me and the way I've been doing my makeup at the moment, it's definitely a bit more on the glowy side to what I normally have, but as far as the way it looks, it looks pretty normal, I'd say. Nothing's jumping out at me and like making me think like absolutely not. Like no, <laughs> I'm covered, but it's still got that natural feeling. It reminds me a lot of um, Shop Miss A's makeup when I tried that. Different, but like the same. It kind of has that same sort of effect that it's given my skin. We've got all the skin together. It's time to move on to eyes, which I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do, but let's talk about it. Usually this is the part where I zoom you guys in and we talk about the eye products, but I think for this look, I just wanna keep it really minimal and easy to do. I want the focus to be more on like the products as opposed to like the fancy makeup. I did pick up an eyeshadow palette, but I don't really feel like I wanna like go into it. It looks beautiful to be fair. It's the She Glam Artistry palette. Um, I might save this for a, like another time because I think I want to do a red lip. So it's either this or a red lip and I've not done a bold lip in ages. So I feel like, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll give you guys a little swatch. Should we do a little bit of a swatch? Let's do a little bit of a swatch. The yellow, the, let's do this orange. Let's do this shimmery shade up here. Oh, it's like a gel. Oh my God, it's like a gel. Um, This shimmer down here. This looks a lot like a Huda Beauty palette. Like the textures of the eyeshadows look very Huda beauty -y. Wow. Especially this one. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always said this, a way an eyeshadow performs on the eyes is different to how it swatches. But first impressions, they look really lovely. That gold, beautiful. Thinking of just doing an eyeliner, like a wing, very classic, glam. Are we feeling that? If you're not, I'm sorry, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> no. I'm 99% sure I ordered an eyeliner, but it's not in here. Well, that kind of throws a bit of a spanner in the works, doesn't it? I think it was like a liquid eyeliner as well. It was either liquid or a pen. I definitely did order one, so that's a bit of a shame. I, do I cheat here? I kind of want to, guys, I'm sorry. 
I am gonna find some eyeliner and I'm gonna speed through it because it's obviously not Shein makeup. Don't be mad at me, okay? I promise that the mascara and the lashes are gonna be from Shein in that. I just want to do something with the eyes and that's kind of what I'm vibing with right now. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back to do some lashes. Okay, wings are on. I feel like that's about as good as we're gonna get. Mascara first. So this is the Shein Perfect Curling Mascara in Classic Black. Oh look, we got another like glorious description. <laughs> One swipe of our silky rich formula with beeswax thickens your lashes for the perfect volume. No smudging here. It makes me giggle every time because I just love a good description. Like they love a good paragraph. I mean, that's cool because it gives me something to go off, but outrageous curl, WTP. What does WTP mean? It goes thicker to thinner and it spirals in like the weirdest shape. So from all different angles, it's different thicknesses. Can you see that? 22 years on this earth. I don't think I've ever had a mascara one like that. That's so interesting. Let's go. Oh, my lashes are so annoying. Right, I have pretty long lashes, but they're, they're straight. Like, what is that about? It's cute. Nothing to be like wowed about. But then I'm a lash girl. So like mascara is, it's, it's hard for a mascara to like wow me. Listen, it makes a good mascara if I need my lashes. <laughs> Do you know what? I reckon if I curled my lashes, it'd be pretty decent, but it's just kind of just coating them to make them look a bit darker. Now for the fun part though, lashes. They did like bulks of lashes, which I loved because then you get so many for like pretty good price. These are the first ones I picked up. How many lashes do you get in here? 10? I think you get 10 pairs. Shein false eyelashes. Um, 100% cruelty free, reusable, fluffy, have a lot to them, they're nice and long. Or I picked up these, which <laughs> these come a lot thicker and longer. And bigger. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't these. These are the She Glam 3D eyelashes. So you get three pairs in this one. But look at these bad boys. I mean, if you're into a lash, hello. I think it's wicked though that you can get so many lashes for so cheap. Look at this lash tray as well. Like I rate this. This is this could be reusable. My only problem is, is what eyelash goes on which eye? Or am I being a dumb bitch? But like, definitely need to trim it a little bit. Oh, I feel like these are gonna look pretty. Little bit of lash glue. These are giving me like the perfect amount of volume. They kind of complement this look quite well, don't they? Well, the, the, the what? <laughs> they're not too much and in your face. And I feel like they're complementing the wing really nicely. They're pretty. Do you know what I like about them as well? They don't feel too plasticky. Sometimes the fluff is like too plasticky. Whereas these ones actually have like a light feathery look. They don't look like plastic, if that makes sense. These are a lash that I feel like I'd actually pick up like daily, like have them as like a daily lash because not only are they like super affordable, you get a shit ton as well. So you're not gonna like, run out quick and you're also not gonna be heartbroken if you lose one because let's be real, we all do that. I feel like we need to do the lips and finish this up. So like I said to you guys, I am thinking a red lip just to kind of like spice things up. Make a statement, you feel me? I don't have a lip liner though. In fact, I don't, did they do lip liners? I didn't see them. Yeah, because I feel like I would have picked one up, right? Because I'm useless without a lip liner. So really quickly, just going to take one. Outline them real quick just to give me a guide. The lipstick is She Glam Fearless Kiss Matte Lipstick. Light matte, light and soft fog texture. What's a fog texture? It's in classic red, by the way. So let's open this up. How do I open that? It's not got like a lid. <gasps> Stop. Guys. Okay, Boosh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Ooh, that looks like a nice red, like a nice like, post box red you know <laughs> oh yeah okay that red stop and look how easy that Clyde did on perfect red lip I have like matte lipsticks so I'd say this is more of like a satin finish in certain oh, eye teeth <laughs> in certain lights I'm getting like a little bit of a glow I mean if I wanted to make the super matte pop some translucent powder at the top, you're good to go. The feeling, I have to say, feels really lovely. Like pigment, as you can saw, like swipe was there. I said it in my Fenty video as well. Reds are like the perfect shade of red for me. It's kind of like that bluer toned red. I'm not really like a pinky or purpley red girl. This is giving me pretty much exactly what I love, which, and the packaging gets an eight star from me. Look at that, boo. I could just, sorry guys, I'm just gonna get my lipstick out to retouch. Right, guys, they're literally all the products that I have to try. I don't have a setting spray or anything. I'm gonna adjust and then we can give my final thoughts. Hmm. So guys, we are finished. This is the finished look. What the frick? Like what, what, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like some of these products are so good for the price, it's mental. And the packaging on the stuff. I mean, like I said, the plastic situation needs to 
go. I mean, the actual like products though, like they're just so interesting and bougie and everything feels, I don't know, it feels like a lot more luxe than a lot of my high-end stuff, which is just like mental to me. I keep looking in the mirror, like the fact that this on my face right now is Shein. Like this is a stop what i am gonna do guys instead of me like sitting here rambling on i feel like if you got to this point you probably just want me to shut up <laughs> in the description box i'm gonna write all the products and everything that has a star by you guys probably know this routine by now they are the products that i love and that i i'm picking up and using again obviously bearing everything in mind that this is from shein so it is a website that takes a while to ship that is it from me guys i hope this video was helpful i hope i helped your bank accounts in some way let me know down below if you are gonna pick up anything because as per usual i will be chilling in the comments i want to know i want to know if you're planning on getting anything subscribe like the video if you did all that good stuff thank you guys for watching i love you stay safe and yeah i'll see you very soon